Well good morning everybody. Now I really hope you guys can see this. That has to be the clearest my water's ever been. It is absolutely crystal. This is day three of using the foam fractionator. It is absolutely crystal clear. It is excellent. I can see every tiny little bit on the bottom of that pond. Absolutely superb. And to clear it in three days, the difference it's made is unbelievable. I mean, that skim, it was really concentrated. I have to say, see absolutely everything in the bottom of that pond. That's four foot of water and see everything. It did stop last night for a while, but it's been working through the night again. And we've collected some. There's some in the bucket this morning. Not a lot, but if there's nothing in there to fetch out, we're not going to get a lot. That's the whole point of it, I suppose. But just look at that. Hope the camera picks it up. We'll take a look at the skimmer. Okay, we'll just take a quick look at the skimmer. As you can see, not as much as there has been over the last couple of days in there. There's still quite a bit in there. When I went to bed last night, it wasn't sort of making any at all. But if there's no skim it, it won't bring it up, will it? But everything's working, still making it. Well guys, it's a gorgeous day here today. Got my net off now, so we can see in there better. See what's happening. That's better, we can see the fish better now without the net. Get a good look in there. It's a bit darky on end because I've got the brolly up. But you can see what I mean about water clarity now. Really looking good, really pleased with it. They do like to get in the shade, I must admit. But they have been tearing about a bit. It's uh, must be breeding season, they've been chasing each other round. Which is always a good sign, it means they're happy. And enjoying what's going on. Enjoying the weather and the top pond temperature, I would imagine. But they've just had a little bit of food. Not a lot, they don't seem to eat a lot midday. They seem to want more at night, but as you can see, they've all gone under the shade now. Up this end, I don't know what we'll see, because there's not a lot of sun there. But that's it, that's the water clarity since I've fitted it. It was pretty clear, I must admit, because the RDF kept it pretty clear. I have to say it is definitely clearer. I mean, the water itself, apart from the bits floating in it, as you can see down the bottom probably, there's plenty of bits about in it. Could be doing with another hoovering, I suppose. But there are bits down there. But yeah, it's gone really well. Really pleased with it. It wasn't making any when I went to bed last night, but we had got some skimmit this morning. So we'll nip and have a look at the pond temp, see how that's going. Okay, in the filter house, it is a bit noisier in here because I've got to have the top of that uh, moving bed half off. So it is a bit noisier in here. But let's get in for a look. And there we go, 15 and a half centigrade. So that's not a bad pond temp, it's about where we want to be now for this time of year. So that's going well, they're starting to feed, which should make the actual protein skimmer even more useful. Get all that protein out of the pond once they've been fed. As you can see, we're still, uh, still making skimmy. I might be able to get that out and show you that. This is after a day. So let's see what we've got. I'll try to do it quick so I don't get too much foam all over the place. Let's tip a bit of this out. Sorry, I can't really see my screen, but there you go guys. I will hold it up to the outside so you can see it. It's black. That's fantastic. And that's in one night. So what I'm going to do with that now is mix a little bit of water with it. I'm going to put it down here and just mix a bit of water with it. Look at the bubbles coming on that. I'm just going to top that up with water. Fantastic stuff apparently this for your garden. So just let that settle a bit. And that's where it's going. Straight on my garden. Now I don't know whether you'll remember but I did have a leak on that pipe what feeds the actual protein skimmer. 
and I've just left it, I had a bucket under it for a while, I've just left it and it sealed itself. It stopped leaking, I haven't touched it, it stopped itself. I still have got a bit of a leak on here, where we had when we first started, but like I say, none of this top stuff or the feedback to the moving bed is solvent welded. I haven't bothered solvent welding that because it's only temporary. It's got a little drip on that, but I really don't care because, uh, like I say, that's only temporary stuff. My main project now is how I'm going to pipe it permanently. Now we know it works. Like I say, at the moment, I'm taking it from the moving bed and putting it back in the moving bed. So it's probably getting half the water it's already done go round again. So I've got to do something about that. Where I take the water from, I want to take it after the RDF. The RDF is taking everything out down to 60 micron and what we're doing here is taking out the real fine stuff. We're skimming off the real fine stuff so uh, I want to keep doing that. I don't want it full of all the big stuff, the RDF does that. As you can see there is some dirt in there. But yeah that's, uh, that's working spot on. And there we go, a quick wash out and off we go again. Absolutely brilliant. Great stuff. One or two have said where would you actually get pipe like this? Well to be honest you don't want to be buying it because it's an astronomical price. Absolutely ridiculous. What I did, I had a word with one or two people that work on building sites and what it is, it was an actual offcut of underground pipe. The housing estate was finished, this was thrown on one side and I did just, now my RDF's decided to go off, I did just mention to the foreman on the site what was they doing with it and uh, I got it for nothing. So keep your eye on building sites. Another place is like your drainage, any drainage company that deals with this sort of drainage they all have offcuts and usually keep them. So you can usually get a bit quite cheap from them. Our drainage board, uh, I have rung them and they do have offcuts and that's where I was going to go till I saw this. That's where you want to be looking, building sites or have a word, just give your local drainage board a ring. Have a word with the foreman down there and you can acquire it, you can get hold of it. 9 inch tube or 9 inch underground drainage pipe. There was one or two blades broken on it which I just welded back up. The piece that I cut off the end that I didn't use, I took some of the pins off that and just welded them back on here. Well good morning guys, wow what a day we've had yesterday and today's as bad. The wind is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> a big catastrophe on the pond. The plants that I had set on the front wall as you know I have a couple of boxes on there the plants I had on there this chair blew across the patio hit the plant box and knocked it in the pond <laughs> so it was what a mess I had to clear up it was horrendous so I spent uh, an hour or so sort of trying to sort that out the rubbish I've been getting through my filters is blooming terrible now I felt the plant box itself when it got windy and I thought that's heavy enough, that's not going to move. Plus I watered the plants as well which makes it way more. But the chair come flying across the patio, hit the plant box and knocked it straight in the pond. Lovely. Right old mess to clear up. But what I'm actually doing is over here, now I've got this uh, protein skimmer up and running well. What I'm actually doing is, number one, I want to drop this two inches because I want a bit more water pressure through into the filter house. And uh, number two, I'm getting ready for once I've built the uh, new sieve filter, I want to be fitting that as well. So basically that's what I'm doing. I'm, I've just dug out so I've got plenty of room around there. I want to drop it a couple of inches to get a bit more pressure into the filter box itself. When I get the pump turned up to sort of 90-95% it does start to struggle for water. So I want a little bit more pond pressure so I'm going to drop that down so it uh, hires the water level in the box. So that's the idea for that. 
Well guys, we've got brilliant sunshine here, the wind's still up, we're still getting an awful lot of wind. It's <laughs> gale force nearly, but warm, ever so warm. But the stage we're at at the moment, with this mod on the actual sieve filter, it's all up and running now. We're back up and running again, I've dropped it two inches and I did have to dig this pipe out so that the give in the pipe, this end had to go down two inches obviously so the give in the pipe I had to dig back far enough so that, that would give that little bit but we got it there look what have it when I put it in I put it on two slabs and luckily enough I could just slide the slabs out from under it so uh, that was a bit of luck but it all went reasonably well, hard work digging all this lot out because this soil is as hard as rock, oh dear but we got it out, we've got it in and we've got it up and running so uh, great stuff we're all back up and running and the arm is a lot higher than it ever did we've got a heck of a flow there I'm running the pump now at the minute at 90% so I've got 90% of the pump, it's about 147 watts, something like that. I'm just giving it a run at that to see how things go. And it's spot on, the arm's nearly level. Absolutely spot on, I've got all the water I need there now. I can run the, run the pump flat out if I want, without any problem at all. So that's a real good job done, I'm well pleased with that. Well, once again, good morning everybody, and it's another beautiful sunny day here again today. Fantastic. Everything's going well, the pond's going well. Not a lot of problems at the moment with that, as far as the pond itself goes. As you know, I am sort of working on the sieve filter. I've taken the slabs out and dropped it a couple of inches, which has improved things, but there's still a blockage somewhere. I've had my pressure washer down this end of the pipe all the way along. I can get to the bend there and I've had the pressure washer as you know in from the drain and up as far as I can get that way but it's there's still something in there slowing it down for some reason so it's going to come out. What I'm actually going to do is where we've got the manhole here where it goes across and up I'm actually going to dig all that out and run it directly to the actual sieve filter so it'll come across here and be a couple of inches lower as well to give it that little bit more pressure all the fish are good everything's fine in here all looking good in there as you can see lilies are coming on well now they're chucking up some leaves if we go down in the bottom shed let's have a look down here in here um, I'm in the process of cutting all the PP ready for the sieve filter case I've got it all cut now I've got all the bits I want it's a matter of getting it welded together now I should get it all put together and then we shall start to build it I'm still waiting for one or two bits I'm waiting for a uni seal still waiting for that to come I've got most of my parts now to redo the bottom drains I'm just waiting for um, it's like an airbag that you put in the pipe to block the pond off so I don't have to drain it you put it in the pipe blow it up and it seals the pipe otherwise I should have to drain the pond to get down there because I want the actual bottom pipe that comes off the bottom drain I'm going to cut into that so I've got to block the pipe off somehow and that's what I'm going to use one of them balloons that you blow up you can get them on eBay quite easily but I've got all my bits there I've got a length of pipe outside ready to go so all's ready for that I'm doing a bit of everything at the moment a quick look at the pond on day four see how we're doing I hope you guys can see all that the clarity on that water is unbelievable I didn't think I'd be able to get it any clearer than the RDF was getting it but this is really taking out all the fine stuff but wow can you see your fish well get a real good look at your fish now the lilies chucking leaves up like mad now it's in full swing the other one's on the way we've only got the two now as you know but it has made a lot more room up that end in the pond I must admit it's surprising what sort of room these lilies take up 
there's a lot of ripples on the pond like I say but you do get a real good look at your fish I have still got some algae in there I should like to get rid of I think what I shall do is give it another dose of the clover leaf it hasn't cleared it all up it's taken a lot of it off the bottom I must say it really has knocked it back big time but it hasn't cleared it up completely so I'm going to give it another dose and see how we go which is a bit of a shame because my water's lovely and clear <laughs> but there you go another dose of the clover leaf I think I'm still getting a lot of algae in the sieve filter which is good because it takes it out before it gets to the RDF and that allows me to use a bit finer mesh on the RDF we've had uh, quite a good wind yesterday it was quite breezy and I don't know whether you can see it there but I've got a bit of debris floating on the top of the pond they're all chasing each other about they're all well happy at the moment and we're back in the filth house again as you can see protein skim has been up and running about four days now but we're still chucking out skim it and if you can see the colour of it it's a little bit dark down there probably it's still coming out a really nice colour a dirty colour really it's not a nice colour but it's a nice colour as far as the protein skim is concerned there is I've got to make a slight modification on it on the top here around where I've got this gasket on this dome I've put two layers of one mil pond liner on it to try to seal it and screwed it down now if you notice I have got a little bit of water around here so it's not actually sealing that well so what I want to do I've not put enough screws in it so I'm going to put another screw in between each one of these screws so that I can get it tightened down that little bit better and a little bit uh, more on the level if possible I've got the screws too far apart basically so I want to make that mod because it is sort of leaking slightly we are getting water off it so uh, I want to get that job done make sure that's right but apart from that I think everything else is really running well it's really going well and I have to say it's most definitely made a difference to my pond it's like polished the water okay that's that all done I'll put an extra screw all the way around in the middle that should hold it it wasn't leaking much at all but I don't want it leaking so I'm hoping that sorted it out it's got plenty holding it down now I'm dreading taking it off <laughs> it'll take me a day to get all those screws out but that should make it uh, watertight now well guys as you can see I've moved into my second dose of the old clover leaf I did actually leave it two weeks because it was still dying back and it was slowly disappearing but too blooming slowly so what I've done is give it another dose so it's just had its second dose I've got everything shut down now apart from the uh, air stones they're all running full pelt so I've got them on the pond everything else is shut down shut the pump down and the UV and all that sort of thing it's all been shut down I'm going to give it an hour hour and a half to settle a little bit and settle among the algae and then I'll strike everything back up again the fish are still chasing each other around I'm not quite sure how they see it in there <laughs> we certainly can't see it, it but uh, they're still chasing each other around but there you go that's another dose in so uh, that's goodbye to me fish for a day or so the trouble is with the RDF it does clear it a bit too quick really but I can't run without a filter at all so gotta be but I'll give it an hour and a half to settle just so that I don't damage any of my bacteria in the other filters and see what happens I'm not sure what's going on with the lilies this year they're uh, a lot smaller leaves than a ready, ready green colour whereas last year I'll give you a quick look at them this is what they was like last year so I'm not quite sure if this is the same lily <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what's happened this year but they're a lot smaller and like I say a sort of a maroony green colour they're quite nice I must admit but there was like dinner plates on this lily last year and all green I'm not quite sure what's going on there this one usually sh throws up massive leaves they're very small this year up to yet so hoping we get a bit more from that it's probably uh, 
due to the fact that the nitrates, the fish are still chasing each other about, it's due to the nitrates, I think, probably lack of in the pond that's changed them, I'm not sure. Now I've got my nitrate problem sorted out, there's not quite so much going on in there for them. So, especially now we've got the protein skimmer on there. But that's the difference from last year to this year. Well, good morning everybody, and what a beautiful morning we've got this morning. The sun's shining, it's nice and warm, it's a beautiful day. My birds actually, um, I haven't seen them for two days going in and out now, so I presume the little ones have left the nest. So I might just pop that up and make sure everything's okay in there. The top is hinged so I can have a quick look. I think they've grown up and gone. Right, now yesterday I put a clover leaf in the pond. Yesterday dinner, just after dinner. This is the next morning. And as you can see, the RDF's clean it all up. There's no sign of it at all. A little bit white on the bottom. And some of the algae's white in there where it's settled. The uh, RDF just cleans it up too quick. <laughs> it's gone completely the next day, or the next morning even. It's early morning here, about half past eight in the morning, and it's all gone. Let's clean it up overnight. This is when the RDF's a bit too efficient, I think, <laughs> at times, but you can't have it always. But that's the pond the day after. Let's hope we've got that algae sorted out. Well guys, that's about it. We've had pond temps of about 20, 20 centigrade, so the pond temps come well up. But I'm afraid the weather's broken now and it's not too good a day. We had rain this morning for the first time in a long, long while. But like I say, um, that's brought us to the end of another video. So all it leaves me to say until the next one is you all take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching and enjoy your pond.